Hi, my name is Catherine Woodvine. I'm the author of Awesomely Austin, Pride and Prejudice, illustrated by Eglinton Silman. This is a retelling of what's probably Jane Austen's most famous novel, and it's also my favourite. It's the story of the five Bennet sisters, and especially of what happens when Miss Elizabeth Bennet meets the wealthy Mr Darcy. At first she thinks he's rude and proud and haughty, but could there be more to him than meets the eye? Mrs Bennet wasn't the only one who was excited about the arrival of Mr Bingley. Everyone in the neighbourhood was talking about him, especially because it was a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a large fortune must be in want of a wife. Elizabeth and her sisters soon learned that he was young and handsome, rode a black horse and wore a blue coat. Best of all, he was very fond of dancing and he was going to attend the very next ball. A whisper ran through his room when Mr Bingley arrived in the ballroom. He was just as young, handsome and jolly looking as everyone had said. What was more, he was not alone. He was accompanied by two ladies and two gentlemen. They were his sister, Mrs Hurst, and her husband, Mr Hurst, his unmarried sister, Mr Bingley, and his very good friend, Mr Darcy. Everyone turned to admire the newcomers. Mrs Hurst and Miss Bingley were elegant ladies dressed in the very latest London fashions. As for Mr Darcy, a rumour rushed round the room that he was even richer than Mr Bingley, with a big house in Derbyshire and a very large fortune. All the ladies agreed at once that he was the most handsome man they had ever seen. But Mr Darcy was not popular for long. While Mr Bingley chatted, danced and made friends with everyone, Mr Darcy stood all by himself, looking haughty and aloof. Elizabeth, who was sitting watching the dancing, noticed Mr Bingley come bustling over to him. Come, Darcy, he said cheerfully, you must dance. I hate to see you standing about by yourself like this. I certainly shall not, drawled Mr Darcy. You know I hate it. Besides, your sisters are already dancing, and I couldn't possibly dance with anyone else here. Mr Bingley shook his head at his friend in surprise. But the girls here are so pleasant, and several of them are very pretty. You have been dancing with the only handsome girl in the room, said Mr Darcy, glancing over at Elizabeth's sister Jane. Mr Bingley's cheeks turned bright pink. I think she is the most beautiful creature I have ever seen, he confessed. But look, Darcy, there is one of her sisters. She is very pretty too, and I'm sure very agreeable. Mr Darcy looked round to where Elizabeth was sitting by herself. Hmm, she is tolerable, I suppose, but not handsome enough to tempt me. Besides, I am in no mood to dance with a young lady who is ignored by other men. At first, Elizabeth felt rather offended by this. But then she thought how pompous and silly Mr Darcy sounded and what a funny story it would make to tell her friends. Soon she was giggling over it with her friend Charlotte Lucas. She didn't notice Mr Darcy glance in her direction, for the first time looking a little uncomfortable. The Bennets went home from the ball in high spirits. Mrs Bennet was overjoyed that Mr Bingley had taken a liking to Jane. Mary was proud because her piano playing had been praised and Kitty and Lydia were very excited that Mr Bingley had promised to soon host a ball of his own at Netherfield Park. Back at Longbourn, they found Mr Bennet reading by the fire. We have had a most delightful evening, began Mrs Bennet. Jane was so admired by Mr Bingley. Of course, he danced with Charlotte Lucas first, which vexed me greatly. But then he danced with Jane twice, and then with Lizzie. And what do you think he did next? Enough of his partners, groaned Mr Bennet. I wish he had sprained his ankle in the first dance. Mrs Bennet paid him no attention, but his friend Mr Darcy, what a proud and horrid man. He refused to dance with Lizzie, you know. Next time you shouldn't dance with him, even if he does ask you, she instructed Elizabeth. Elizabeth laughed. I think I can promise you never to dance with Mr Darcy.